Yo, what's up guys? This is Goldmine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.9. There will be links in the description for all the downloads that are needed. So the first thing you'll need to do if you haven't already launch Minecraft in the most recent version of Minecraft. Underneath your name, if it says something like ready to download Minecraft 1.9, then obviously click play so you'll download 1.9. Just launch it once so you have all the files. Because if you try to install these mods before you have 1.9 actually downloaded and and launch for the first time, it won't work. Now go into the description and access the links that I provided down below. We're gonna be downloading Optifine and any shader pack that you desire. We're gonna download the most recent version of Optifine, which is usually at the very top, so we're just gonna click download. And add fly will appear. What you wanna do is exit, reload the page, and then click reload this page. The reason why we did that is because now at the top right, you can see there is a five second counter right below the please wait. The first time we launched this ad fly web page, the counter wasn't there. So we did have to actually reload the page for the skip ad to appear. Just download it. And now what we want to do after we have the Optifine downloaded, also take note that uh, it says that the download may be harmful. The reason for this is because your computer is not used to downloading .jar files. So just click key it'll continue the download and successfully finish the download try to find a shader pack that is in the 1.9 minecraft version if not a version below that is fine once you've downloaded everything just put it onto your desktop and now what we want to do is go to our windows search bar type percent app data percent for windows 10 users the folder that will appear will be named percent app data percent but anything below windows 10 the folder that will appear is roaming it's the same folder don't worry just click on it and as you can see in the path it is named Named roaming find the minecraft folder and go into it now we're going to minimize this folder and double click on the optifine.jar an installer will pop up and basically all you have to do is click install optifine is successfully installed and it will close itself. Now you can delete this installer, you really don't need it anymore. Now we're gonna launch Minecraft and Optifine should have installed its own profile. If you're not already selected on the profile, then just click on the drop down and find Optifine. Now underneath your name, it should say ready to play Minecraft 1.9 Optifine, and then the version of the Optifine. Click play and it will have launched Minecraft 1.9, but now with the Optifine mod. Now we're gonna go back into our .minecraft folder and we're gonna search for the shader packs folder. Go into that folder and I already have shader packs from old generations of Minecraft. I'm actually going to delete all those because those are really old versions. And now what you want to do is drag and drop the shader that you downloaded. I'll put a link in the description to the shader that I used in this video. And that's basically all you have to do. Your shader has now been installed. Another quick tip, going into your options and then video settings, shaders is now a new button that has been added to your game. This is how you access your shaders packs. And also there's a button over here called shaders folder this is another very easy way to access your shaders folder where you actually install your shaders packs so i just jumped into my single player world and like i showed you before we're going to go to our options video settings shaders and we're going to click on the shader that we installed the shader is now on i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you guys didn't know, because of Optifine being installed, if you hold control, you can actually zoom in. Also, I do want to warn you, the current shader that I'm using is the Extreme Edition, which is the highest quality version of the shader that you can have. I'll see you guys later. This is Goldmine, and I'm out. <laughs>